in today's video we will be discussing about the five kingdom classificationary system given by R H Whittaker. Actually in the previous video we have discussed that there were some drawbacks and limitations of the two kingdom classification in which Lennes did not differentiate between unicellular and multicellular. He did not differentiate between non-photosynthetic and photosynthetic. He even did not differentiate between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. So what did R.H. Whittaker do is, he was a scientist who gave who proposed the five kingdom classification and now what did he do is yes let me get my color panel here what did Whittaker do is he divided the you know organisms into five kingdoms or five groups based upon the similarities by correcting the limitations of the two kingdom classification which was proposed by Lennes now these five kingdoms Included, included Monira, Protista. I'll be going into detail, but just uh, you know, write these fungi, plantae, or plantae, animalia. These were the five kingdoms which were proposed by Whittaker. And he corrected those limitations, the three limitations only we have discussed but we have many more limitations which are given after this in our NCRT. So that would be coming in the next session. So please concentrate on this session. Now if you see you are very familiar of these two kingdoms, Kingdom Animalia and Kingdom Pante. These have been coming from the two kingdom classification. They have been transported to three kingdom classification and from three kingdom classification they have been transferred to the five kingdom classification. Although the classificationary systems were going on changing, these two remained same in all the classification systems. Now we will be discussing the characteristics of these five kingdoms as a tabular form which is given in your NCRT textbook uh, it is given uh, as a tabular form in their NCRT textbook so we will be uh, going one by one in this video we will be starting with Monira and we will be ending with Animalia we will be not discussing much ok uh, put your NCRT textbook open uh, the table which is given now let us go on with Monira this is only the kingdom which is made for bacteria it is also called as kingdom of bacteria bacteria are the soul members soul members means uh, you know main people of the city who are living in this monira kingdom if you consider monira as a city bacteria are the main people who are living in that they are the soul uh, people in that city okay bacteria are the okay sir soul members in the uh, Monira kingdom. Now what are the characteristics of this uh, kingdom? This is only the kingdom which is made for prokaryotes. Till then there was no distinction between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. The second one is they have the presence of cell wall. Cell wall is they have which is made up of peptidoglycon. Uh, in the NCRT, I hope they have given amino acids and uh, some peptides. So, if you uh, mix those two amino acids, it gives you peptidoglycon. Remember this or that. Okay, next one nuclear membrane. Do you think these are the primitive organisms? So, why does the, they have the presence of nuclear membrane? Will they have? Please think in general. These are the you know very primitive members of uh, the kingdom animalia no they will not have these all much developed characteristics right so they have the absence of cell wall they uh, sorry the nuclear membrane they do not have the nuclear membrane next body organization now only i said they are primitive cellular after body organization we see a vast nutritional diversity they can give you a question in your exam about this nutritional 
diversity this nutrition diversity is vast in this kingdom you have auto autotrophic autotrophic also they include chemo synthetic or uh, chemotrophic and also photosynthetic photosynthetic you have heterotrophic also see how much vast we these have covered almost all types of nutritions so that is why nutritional diversity is vast in which kingdom monera so these are the key features of the kingdom monera and see bacteria are divided into uh, types based on the shapes we will be discussing when we discuss about kingdom monera in brief now we will be moving on to the second one that i have already told you after monera which was the kingdom that i have told you yes will be moving on to protista kingdom protista put the side heading kingdom protista will be discussing in these contexts only okay the first one is they are eukaryotic from here eukaryotes begin eukaryotes from here from protista they begin okay eukaryotes from protista they begin there they are prokaryotic unicellular here they are pro eukaryotic unicellular okay cell wall cell wall is present yes it is cellulosic like uh, in plants uh, it, it is present only in some okay you can remember like this in your ncrt it is given in some cellulosic cell wall it is present in some if a cell wall is present it is made up of cellulose or it is absent generally nuclear membrane started from here present uh, not cellular organ oh, yes sorry this is also cellular organization next not nutritional diversity there is not much nutritional diversity as uh, compared to the monera but yes there can be autotrophic or heterotrophic there are both hetero and auto hetero and auto these are the key features now next one this is all you have to learn so that i am moving very fast and video i should not lag the video yes next one while i am erasing you think about the next type oh sorry next kingdom which i am discussing yes now tell me you got an idea of next kingdom yes if you are fungi if you are with fungi you are right guys see fungi they are eukaryotic cell wall is present but made up of chitin chitinous cell wall is present nuclear membrane is present and they have loose tissue they can ask you in the examination loose tissue type of organization next one nutritional diversity not diversity is not present nutrition is only heterotrophic they are only heterotrophic only heterotrophic that is about the fungi you can say that fungi are the ancestors of plants and animals okay the, you can say that i'll be talking when i come to fungi guys okay next one after fungi we will be moving on to our favorite plant a or plant a why i remember as plant a because i every time forget this e guys where should i place that e so that is why i remember like this now cell wall it is cellulosic we all know eukaryotic we all know cell nuclear membrane is present next one uh, they are having organ level organ level of organization organ system is not present only organ level of organization nutritional nutrition is uh, autotrophic autotrophic no heterotrophic mode of nutrition autotrophic mode of nutrition is present now moving on to the next kingdom this comes here last animalia our kingdom so now uh, see eukaryotic cell wall is absent we all know do we possess cell wall sorry no uh, next one cell membrane is present yes organ system level if they ask you in the question uh, like in the exam that uh, what is the key feature that belongs to unique feature that belongs to only animalia 
organ system level of organization only in animalia we see organ system level of organization but if you see in rest of four kingdoms there is no organ system level cellular loose tissue and organ level that's it no nutrition as heterotrophic holozoic mode of nutrition saprophytic mode of nutrition parasitic mode of nutrition all three types of heterotrophic nutrition are present in animalia so that is it guys for this video thank you